this is a new release from Nozumi. This is called the Aviera. And although it's a new release for us, David, the founder of the brand, actually designed this watch like seven or eight years ago, but he didn't want to produce it just because of the options available at the time for the GMT movements would have priced it higher than he wanted to put it out at, which that price is probably going to be in the lower 400 range. But as soon as Seiko released the NH34, which is in this watch, that opened him up to the possibilities of putting his design out that he designed long ago. And here we go. So this watch is a 40 millimeter, 46.5 lug to lug, 13 and a half millimeter thick, 20 millimeter lug width, and a seven millimeter signed screw down crown, keeping the 200 meter water resist on this thing. It has a fixed 24 hour bezel. If we zoom in, we can take a close, closer look at this very legible and very good looking dial setup with the hand setup. This is probably one of the, my, this dial and hand setup is one of my favorite things about this watch. Also the liar lugs, which is something that Nozumi does on most of their watches, if not all of them. I'm trying to remember everything, but it is a no date. And like I said, it is using the NH34, so it's automatic, hacking, hand winding, all of that good stuff. You have that oversized large uh, GMT skeletonized hand there, pointing to this outside 24-hour track. So very easy to track that second time zone. And a kind of faux patina or creamed loom application printed on the dial and on the handset. I like that the center stack is all colored blue to match the dial. A nice clean look. Here's a look at the case back. There might be a few changes. This is technically a prototype, but I have to believe it's darn near spot on of what it's going to be. These are assembled in Germany. And I think I'll put a link in the description for the website. These aren't quite available just yet, but I think they soon will be. I was told in the middle of the year. It came on this excellent bracelet. Quick release spring bars, fitted end links, kind of a standard clasp. It's a little too short for me to fit on my wrist. That's why it's not on. And it looks like we have I think those are split pins but in the package I don't know if all of them are included or if there's different options available but it has a nice leather uh, made in Germany leather straps that were also sent with it and then of course this blue rubber strap which pairs up really nice with it let me put it on wrist so you can see what that looks like like I said the target price is the low $400 range here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Looks and wears great. Very comfortable. That classic size 40 by close to 47. This one's 46 and a half. Is just a sweet spot for most people, including myself. We'll give it a quick blast with the UV light. Kill the studio lights and check the loom on this thing. There you go. Plenty bright. I don't see any loom on the orange GMT hand. I don't know if that's something that's going to happen in the production one or not. I'll have to ask. That would be pretty slick if they did that. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next vid.